Hi guys, welcome back to my XPS guide. Like you know that we get the Final Fantasy X banner on this week. There are three new characters on this banner. So let's talk about them, starting from the first 5 stars base, Yuna. So she is a summoner and a healer hybrid, like Echo and Garnet. In terms of evil magic damage, she gets 50% which is the lowest. Echo gets 60% and Garnet gets 70%. But that doesn't mean she is less powerful than those characters because she learns unique passive called Braska's Daughter, which will increase equip as per attack, magic, defense, and spirit by 50%. Like you know that summon damage is based on those stats so maybe she can deal more damage than Echo and Garnet. Okay, I say maybe because I never try it. Okay, so take the info with a grain of salt. Also, because it only boosts equip as per stats, then this means you only deal extra damage if you summon equip as per, not when she summon as per equipped by others. Anyway, let's just try it later. For healing capabilities, I think Yuna is the best because she learns Re-Raise and Kyuraga. She doesn't have dual cast or dual white magic though. However, I don't think that's a problem because you can equip her with um, Holy One and she able to do Re-Raise and Kyuraga combo. It is not as powerful as Ayaka or Lotus Mage Fina, but still pretty good. She also now few Barga magics, which is nice on some battles. Yuna has brand new mechanics on the game. It is Evo damage. I'm not sure how damaging these skills, okay? They also cost summoning gouge instead of MP so yeah let's just try her later okay she's really interesting and her trust master reward is a good staff it has high magic which is not that useful for healer I know that magic affect the amount of healing but not much okay the spirit boost is also lower than holy one the main feature of this staff is the auto limit however it only regens 1 lb crystal per turn so i think it is kind of useless if this is the only source of your lb crystals regen so enough about yuna i will talk more about her on her review video now let's talk about the second five stars lulu so she is a black mage her trademark skill is flood However, I find this magic is kind of strange because it imperil thunder element resist instead of water resistance. This means you need to have a dedicated water imperil when you want to use her. She able to imperil 100% water resist by herself, but it is a counter, so it is not that reliable. However, flood is also a good chaining tool. Right now. No one know Flood, but you can change this with Riku's Tidal Wave plus 2. According to the data, the frame's delay is same. With that in mind, I think both of them can chain perfectly and yeah, will be useful on 10-man battles. Unlike Barbaricia, Lulu has multiple elemental magic at jaw level. This is one of her strength. Okay, so she can use Viraja to Daja, Blizzaja, and Waterja. So yeah, she's more flexible than Barbaricia, who only knows win elemental attack. For her trash master reward, it is not bad, but I prefer Mateus Melis. If you prefer 20% MP boost over 10% health and 9 more magic stats, then I think this is the best route for you. The auto fate buff is useless because yeah, it will be overwritten easily. 
Those are the 5 stars base characters. Now let's move to the 4 stars base, Seymour. So he is a black mage and summoner hybrid. It is unique because so far we have only seen healer and summoner hybrid. As a summoner, he learns evil magic plus 50% which is not bad. It is same as unawakened garnet and yeah, Yuna. However, his black magics are nothing special. It is only, yeah, your ordinary ga magic. I can say that he is outclassed by William and Victoria by huge margin. He doesn't have any ability that can fill an Esper gauge too. So I don't think he is reliable compared to other summoners. His trust master reward is bad and good at the same time. It is good because you get health and MP boost, which is very useful. Until now, there is only evil magic plus 10%. And yeah, if you want to optimize your summoning damage, then you need to equip 4 evil magic plus 10%. And that will leave your summoner fragile. But with this, you will get 60% health and MP boost if you equip 4 of this trust master. However, it is also bad because yeah, this is not a raid event, which means you need to use your real trust Mughal to get this. And I think it is not worth okay so that's all about Seymour I will say more about Seymour on his review video later now let's move to the next characters Waka so he able to become six stars character on this Thursday the bad news is he still sucks however he can still be useful for this event as a bonus character because yeah we get 50% more points if we use him so try to level him up to level 100 so he can be useful on the farming event later his trust master reward is also niche but yeah throwing weapon is a good weapon for wado so if you plan to use wado and yuri together then getting waka is not that bad so those are all the characters on this banner now, should you summon? Depends. Usually, I always tell you to pull on farming event, but right now, I believe many players already have few walkouts. And yeah, I hope you haven't fused them together. From my experience, 150 to 200% bonus points are enough to get most of the important items. That way, I don't think you should summon on this banner because in my opinion all the characters are just so so okay sure Yuna is a good healer and summoner hybrid but I don't think this is necessary and if it turns out that her evoke is insane remember that there are two five stars based on this banner Lulu is same like Yuna she is good and can chain perfectly with Riku. But if you aim that, okay, remember that there is Yuna here. So unless you want to get both of these characters, then it is really not a good pull in my opinion. And for Seymour and Waka, they are bad, okay. You only need them for bonus points on this event. After this event, I doubt you will ever use them again. That's why if you already have 3 to 4 Wakas, then I suggest you not to summon on this banner. It is better to summon on Lotus Mage Fina banner if you still don't have Decent Healer before it disappear on this Friday. For me, I won't summon on this banner, okay? Because I already have 4 Wakas. Okay, so I'm training them right now. So yeah, think ahead. 
it is better to save your lap pace for the future if you don't need any specific hero okay right now wait for next big impact banner such as CG Nicole or Lid or Regen or even Sephiroth or until we get a step up summoning system I believe that your lapis has been gone okay because of Lotus Mage Fina so start saving again from now this is a tip for free to play players if you are a fan of Final Fantasy X and you are a well then yeah you will still gonna summon anyway regardless what I have said okay now let's talk about the event itself if it is same as Japan version then you can buy dual wheel on this event which is very very good the other items are also pretty good variable mock is a good rod if you still haven't got any trust master road master's rope is also pretty good it is the second highest magic for non-trust master rope silence rope is the best free rope for magic stats so yeah definitely good for your mage okay this is forming event so it won't be that hard remember that the points difference between elite and legendary are not that big so I suggest you to farm on elite difficulty if you plan to bring a lot of wakas as your bonus characters start train him from today okay I will guide you about the event and shopping guide on Friday like usual I think that's all you need to know about this event before ending this video I simply share my prediction for the content on this month so on the official video they say that we will get fry FES and friend abilities awakening so another group beside fry FES group is the Final Fantasy 14 group okay this make me believe that we will get Final Fantasy 14 great event on this mod because I think it is kind of stupid to make abilities awakening available when the characters are not available especially on the global we still haven't got the Final Fantasy 14 Garuda raid event on this month we also yeah get CG Jake these are just three events okay so let's hope we will get spring event or something like that okay so we won't get free week okay so yep i think that's all you need to know about this event and banner okay thank you very much for watching please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more final fantasy brave xps guide bye bye guys